This time on the Mark Bishop Show, I wanted to get something very special to do with today's technology. So I thought uh, I'd get hold of an organizing expert who shares how to get connected to your life through smart technology. And the lady I'm talking about is Julie Morgenstern. For over 30 years, she's been teaching people all around the world through practical, dynamic workshops and coaching sessions. So Julie and her team help organizations around the globe identify what's holding their people back and to get them on the road to fulfilling their mission quickly. She's written lots of columns for O Magazine, a Red Book and Wells Fargo, uh, helping readers solve problems by inspiring order in their lives. And, you know, accolades, The Oprah Winfrey Show, CNN, Rachel Ray, The Today Show, Good Morning America, I could go on all day. But the reality is uh, she's a pretty bright spark. Uh, welcome, Julie, welcome. Oh, Mark, it's great to be with you. Thank you. Well, you know, if you're like most Americans, uh, there aren't enough hours in the day to accomplish everything you want to do. But if you had a little extra time each day, as you say, how would you spend it? So perhaps reaching out to old friends or catching up on your favorite show with your family, whatever it may be, research shows that taking the time to strengthen meaningful connections is as important as diet and exercise for the overall health and well-being. You know, that sort of makes sense, doesn't it, Julie? Yeah, absolutely it does. Um, I mean, studies really show that uh, human relationships are the most essential indicator, strong social connections, the most uh, strong indicator of longevity, happiness, and well-being, even more than sleep, exercise, and nutrition. Hmm. Um, and we're, we're in this world now where we're, you know, through technology, we're more connected to each other in many ways. We're more connected than ever. We're more productive than ever. But ironically, we feel more uh, isolated from each other. Yeah. Because when we, right, we all feel so isolated and everyone craves human connection, mm -hmm. time for pre being with each other, being present, and more meaningful existence than just kind of being tied to a screen all the time which is a form of technology that actually disconnects us rather than connects us. Well, well, you say that you can streamline many of your most routine tasks, right? Giving, uh, giving myself time back to spend on perhaps what I want to do uh, with those yes. that, are, that are more important to me. Right. So smart, a smart life is based on smart technology that's different than the way we usually think of uh, technology. It's more cutting edge, more innovative, which is really how you can use the um, uh, like automation to streamline very mundane tasks to free up time and mental clutter from having from worry. So, for example, um, in the morning most hectic time of most people's lives. It's, it's hectic. You got like 10 things going through your head, You're trying to race out the door and don't forget to turn off the lights and don't forget to unplug the, you know, turn off the coffee maker uh -huh. and lower the thermostat and uh, lock the door and so on and so on and so, so on. And Cox Home Life Home Automation will take those 10 or 12 things that are running through your head and streamline them down to a single voice command. Single voice command shuts everything off, mm -hmm. or double-checks that things are off for you, which enables you to relax in the morning and really drink your coffee, right. have a breakfast conversation, and walk out the door confident and not distracted with worry about these basic things that we have to make sure are done, mm -hmm. but how nice is it to automate it? Well, you're debunking, you you're debunking the myth then that it's hard to get smart home tech up and running and share how smart technologies can enhance your entertainment, security and home automation while reserving time so that you can focus on the things that matter. Yeah, I, I, I'm de it's not hard. I think it's actually, in many ways, once it's set up, it's the easiest of all of the technologies that we've gotten so far in our world to use because it's voice commands. Think about at night. You want to relax. You had a long, hard day, and you want to relax and watch your favorite TV show, or you want to sit with your family or your honey and and watch a movie. 
what normally happens is it takes so long to scroll through the thousands of movie options that you give up after 20 minutes. So we can't find anything (laughs) and you give up on the whole endeavor. But with, um, with smart technology, uh, uh, contour voice remote, for example, you can actually just give a command and say, show me, uh, uh, comedy movies or show me family friendly movies or bring up Grace and Frankie. That happens to be my favorite show right mm-hmm. now. And I can just say that into this contour voice remote and Grace and Frankie is instantly on my screen. I didn't have to click through to find it. I didn't have to scroll anywhere. You go instantly from idea, hey, let's watch a show mm. to boom, it's up on your screen. That saves time. It shaves off time. It shaves off kind of the the overwhelm of using, you know, c- other kind of remotes to click and scroll. Right. So it's it's very free. It's much easier. And I actually think for people who are intimidated by technology, it's 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 very freeing. It's like, oh, that's so easy. Yeah. You just say, yeah, you yeah. just say it, and there it is. <laughs> Yeah, maybe too easy. I don't know. Um, if you do scroll through, I know it drives me nuts if I can't find what I'm trying to find, but uh, you do get to see yeah. other things, perhaps. Uh, whereas, well, uh, when you yeah, talk... but you get a little... Oh, sorry. I didn't yeah. mean to interrupt you. That's all right. I think we get a little screen toxicity when we are just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and it's nice to be freed up. I agree. Um, I agree. Visually, with that. yeah. Implicitly. Yeah. yeah. Well, when yeah. you talk about, you know, your honey watching a movie with you, my, my wife is just not interested in movies, period. But I am. But uh, she's on the yeah. Facebook or on the, uh, you know, on, on the net talking to friends all over the world. So that's where that technology works for her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. So, you know. I do. Well, but, you know, well, you, you don't want to underestimate the value of gaining time back, I guess. Uh, everything's about yeah. time today, isn't it, when you focus on your health? Smart home technology uh, can also uh, help you make the most of every minute, providing you use it wisely. I mean, you can devote that minute to uh, a meditation app, read a short story to a child, strengthen a social connection through a FaceTime, I guess, or a voice call. Um, Do you Mm -hmm. think that uh, it's frightening the, the older generation? That the smart technology is frightening the older generation? Or do you think it's making it easier for them? I, I think it's making it easier. I actually think this generation of technology, which is voice command uh, and uh, wearables and such, and such, is less frightening to older people who can be kind of intimidated by all of the buttons and all of the, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just, you know, it's like we can all imagine the, the Jetsons, right? It was like you walk in and you're like, <laughs> right. where are my slippers? Soon that will happen. But. You know, you walk in and you're like, you know, play, play some upbeat music or play music to cook dinner by. And you just say it and that music is there. Or you like Frank Sinatra and you say, play some Frank Sinatra. You don't need to remember the songs. You don't need to remember the albums. You don't need to anything. You can even say, play music like Frank Sinatra. Mm. How much easier is that? Wow, this is great stuff. Uh, it's I like so it. so great, I mean, right? I'm, I'm part it's of the of... age bracket, too, that, you know, we didn't grow up with computers and we have to learn stuff later. And uh, I know it's very frustrating. A lot of my friends, you know, um be a lot easier just to be able to say, please, you know, do this, do that, or play this, or play that, and it, and it happens for you. And you forget, too, the yeah. other thing is if you shut the garage door, have you ever done that? You've got halfway to your destination and you're really not sure, so you go back. <laughs> Absolutely, and and this and this smart technology frees you of that. I, that just happened to me a couple weeks ago. I went to a wedding, and it was a it was a ninety minute drive, and we'd left the house, and we picked up my daughter and her husband, and we were on the way. And I was, it flashed into my head. I wasn't sure if I had turned uh, unplugged or turned off my flat iron. And I was like, what do we do? Do we go? If we go back, we're going to miss the wedding and everyone's going to be so miserable. If we go, I'm going to be miserable, worried about like the house burning down. You're right. And with with these uh, smart technology, you just uh, speak into the app and say, uh, turn off the flat iron and it's off. It's 
unbelievably liberating. Okay. It can be a little bit more. Yeah. So this, this, this is what smart life, you. this is what smart life is all about then. That's exactly what it's all about. Good right? name for it's it. freeing you from the mundane so that you can be fully present with people and activities um, and more in your life than trying to get to your life. Are there any statistics that you know of at all, Julie, that, that is showing that uh, technology um, is indeed helping to generate a, a better quality of life? Because, I mean, just talking about it, logically, you yeah. think it would, you know. I just wonder, I thought yeah. it would be interesting if they've ever, uh, you know, if there's ever been done on that at all. I think, I mean, there's different, there, there have been different studies over the years about techno technology. I will say that the home automation is so cutting edge. Like Cox is very cutting edge on this. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's a little early for studies to be done to like measure that payoff, like the before home automation and after. Right. I will say that studies on devices have shown that when we are just focused on our screens in social media or constantly on uh, email and constantly on instant messaging, that that actually decreases our happiness. Right. It, that, that has been shown. It decreases our well-being. It increases our anxiety and contributes to depression. Wow. And that's with us glued to screens. It's very addictive, the screen life. I think this new form of technology helps free you from that screen addiction and creates a whole nother level of freedom where you're, you know, just able to be present. Now you have to retrain yourself mm -hmm. to be present. I think, you know, like your wife is used to as many, many, many millions of people are It's very easy to get like addicted to Facebook or mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. um, as a way of connecting, but it's only connecting you here. You can tell your wife this and everybody else who can relate to that. You have to think of your devices this, that those devices, those handheld devices, they bring you closer to people who are geographically far away. Oh, well, that is true. No, but no they, one disputes that at all because what did we, what did we do in the old days? I mean, you'd either phone, and cost make a your phone fortune, call, write a letter. Yeah, or yeah. write a letter. I mean, there's no yeah. doubt about that. But what about the downside? Is there any serious downside yeah. of smart technology in relation to uh, security, privacy? You know, they're talking about uh, the, this Alexa business. You know, it listens all the time. You hear these things, right? What about this Cox yeah. stuff? Is is that all secure and what have you? Well, it's all quite secure. Um, and I, and I do think that, uh, I, I do recognize that people are concerned about that. And I think there's all kinds of, and you can, you can go to coxsmartlife.com, which is the website mm -hmm. and you can actually find people that you can call. There's numbers you can call. You talk to somebody live to ask those questions so that you can hear for yourself what the, what the security firewalls are and what the risks are, oh, if there cool. are any, I think, yeah. I th because again, all of that just continues to evolve and get better and better because people are concerned about that. And anybody who's providing these kind of smart technologies is sensitive to addressing any concerns so that people can use the benefits of it without any worries. Yeah, yep. that's good to know. And and that address yeah. again, Julie, because there's nothing better than just having a nice hot cup of coffee or tea, getting online with uh, a good site, and uh, doing your uh, research is probably the best way for anybody to have a real good look and understand about it all. And yeah. if you can talk to people, it's even better if you can give them a call. I mean, so many companies these days, it's impossible. Everything's automated where exactly. you don't even speak to a live person anymore. I mean, I won't do business with them. I just can't do it. Yeah. Whereas you're telling yeah, me I that uh, Cox will do this, they'll answer questions, and they're there for the person that could be interested. Yes. Uh, so it's Cox smartlife.com and that's C-O-X right. smartlife.com and also they just had their first live event last week and they are popping up all over the country with live events where people, consumers can come and actually see this technology in action and let it be brought to life so that they can understand it and not only will you see it and experience it 
but there's people there to talk to as well. Right. So they're really there for the consumer. They're really committed to technology as a tool for fortifying human rela- connections, not for separating people, but for bringing them closer together mm-hmm. uh, and better well-being and higher quality of life. So I think go to CoxSmartLife.com and also look at the schedule of events and see if they're coming to a city near you and show up. That's a good Nothing thing. Nothing like that's even even better, yeah. right? Show yeah. up and see what it that's see what it, it looks like, feels like, and yeah. walks like, and talks like. That's yeah. right. Feel, touch, and smell, and then be right there with it. Yeah. Um, before yeah. we go, you're the author of uh, New York Times uh, a best-selling book, and both, uh, in fact, two of them, uh, both of which have been developed into popular specials for PBS. Just tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, I actually have six books out. Um, uh, uh, Organizing from the Inside Out is uh, uh, my sort of flagship book that teaches you how to organize any space based on the unique way you think and your natural habits. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to maintain. Um, I've written a book called Never Check Email in the Morning, which is on workplace productivity. Uh And my latest book is called Time to Parent, and it is the first ever job description uh, for the full span of the parenting years that helps you understand how to organ- think about organizing your time to juggle and balance between raising a human and being a human. Oh, yeah. Uh, for Yep. And uh, that book just came out um, last year and also is committed to helping you find create, organize to create the space and the time for quality connections with your family and quality time for yourself. That's the, the primary goal of that job description and that book. And it's very much in alignment with what Cox is trying to do with technology. Right. To create space for quality connections. So uh, yeah. I, I gather you can get these on um, Amazon. Yeah, my books you can get on Amazon.com. You can go to my website, juliemorgenstern.com, and read more about the books and various services and get lots of information okay. as well. Fabulous. Yeah. Thanks for taking time out uh, with us today, Thank Julie. Thank you so much. It's very it interesting. Great to talk to you, Mark. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. And uh, have some fun when you're doing your next, uh, uh, you know, exhibition or whatever you do because uh, you get around a bit, don't you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Julie Morgenstern. Do, All right. Thank you, Julie. Have a lovely day. All right. Goodbye. Thanks, Mark. Bye-bye. Uh, there we go. Hey, interesting. Organizing expert. She is Julie Morgenstern. And boy, how about that? All that. Just say the word. Lights come on. Uh, Sinatra, play for me. Dire Straits, play for me. Whatever. Have a look it up anyway. Cox.com. Interesting. You heard it right here on the Mark Bishop Show. Uh, of course, heard on the Tucson Business Radio X Network.